Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Chevrolet Camaro Z28 T-Roof 5.7 automatic. Um, it's a European specification car rather than an American import. One owner from new. Uh, one thing I must stress is that the number plate uh, shown in the video doesn't come with the car. Um, it will have an age-related uh, T registration um, set of plates fitted to it. Um, in the usual very bright red. It's actually brighter red than perhaps it looks on the video because it can uh, it can look slightly pink on video on the uh, computer screens, but it's very very red indeed. Um, with the chrome wheels and with the grey leather interior and the T-top roof, um, I've just done a 50 mile trip in it with the roof off like this, and it's been absolutely fantastic. Right, it's looking around it a bit more closely. Um, a few insect marks from my journey, but no more than that. Very, very little stone chipping on the bonnet, considering the mileage, um, all around the front end. Um, not much at all, in actual fact. Some lacquer loss just on the front of the uh, near side front wing. Uh, there's a lacquer loss line going around there, and another one just there, and a couple of small ones there and there, a tiny bit just around the arch. So a little bit of lacquer loss on the front of the near side front wing. I presume that started out as stone chips and got bigger. Um, looking down the near side, it's perfectly straight, not a parking dink or a scuff to be seen. I know this one's been garished all its life because I know where it's been. Because um, we got it from the original owner. Um, looking at the screen on the driver's side, it's a top tint screen. It's in good shape on the driver's side. Carrying on round, passenger door is good. Let's have a look interior wise. It's all good. Unusually it hasn't worn on the um, driver's seat bolster the way a lot of them do uh, so there's no wear on there uh, i know this one's done mainly motorway miles so uh, um, whilst it's uh, it's racked up 236,000 kilometers um, it's been say just uh, up and down motorways but the interior is fine no problems there i don't think no i don't think it's ever been smoked i didn't think the last owner smoked um doesn't appear to have been smoked in at all um, all nice in the back seats there. You can fold those rear seats down, that's your fact on these. Um, we've obviously got the T-roofs. Uh, they go on nicely. Chrome wheels, it's all nice around the near side rear corner. That's all good. Um, rear spoiler's got one, two, three, four chips in it, just on the top of the spoiler there. Four larger chips. Um, but the rear bumper is good. Um, any unpleasant bit on the car really. Um, chap, uh, according to the previous owner, um, somebody sort of just nudged him while he was parking it one day, or parking his other car and hit this. Um, it's dented the wing just around here, around the, just on the very tra on the trailing edge of the wing where it goes into the light unit. Uh, it's broken the paint just on the very lip there. There's a tiny bit just on the, um, the light finishing panel. It hasn't damaged that, it's just taken the paint off a bit. But it's, uh, it's obviously a blue car that's, uh, that's done it. Dented it around there. Scuff just here. And a small f light scuff on the um, offside rear bumper corner as well. But just say small dent between, say, there and there uh, that way. And there and there that way on the uh, offside rear wing. Aside from that, the offside is very, very good indeed. <clears throat> Nothing to be concerned about there. Uh, interior on the passenger side is first class as, uh, as is the driver's side. Um, passenger side screen is fine and passenger side wing is all good. And that's it. That's about it. My name is Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries that you wish to discuss with regard to the car. End.